Hi Dixon. I'm Kate Paddy, Vice Principal Responsible for Quality of Education at Dixon's Unity Academy. Last year we introduced Messy Mark books and we found them to be very successful. This episode follows on from the previous Messy Mark book episodes to specifically look at two sections of the template, Good to Great and Models for Excellence. When reviewing students' work, the teacher will use a good to great section to note the initials of students whose work is good but could be great. The teacher will make note of how their work is good and what they need to do to make it great. During the Directed Improvement and Reflection Activities DIRT lesson, the selected students' work will be shown under the visualiser and as a class we would discuss the improvements that need making while celebrating what the student has done well. This is extremely useful as the class are benefiting from hearing the metacognitive processes as the work is improved. This often helps students complete their own DIRT activity more successfully. In the clip you're about to watch, you'll see we put a student's work under the visualiser and with the class move it from good to great. Okay guys, so we're going to be having a look at good to great today and Cole has done a really good piece of work and I want us to celebrate that. So we're going to start with two claps on three. One, two, three. Thank you Cole for a really, really good effort with this today. So we're going to start off up in the title and looking for any literacy issues we might see. Take a moment to think. Everyone thinking, no hands up. Okay, Tyrone, what can you spot in that title? Oh, fantastic. Should be capital, so cold. Just something for you to work on there. Now, as we move into this first paragraph, I've put a tick almost straight away where it says, as a philosophy graduate, Rumens. What is, it, is, the, what is the reason for that tick? Why have I put that there? Everyone thinking? Okay, Fatima, will you have a go for me? I think it's referred to context. Fantastic. So that clear link to context is a great start. Could you all jot that down in your books, please, guys, to remember those contextual links? Good work, Cole, on remembering to do that. So as a philosophy graduate, Rumens was interested in the concept, I've put, we'll come back to that, of cultural displacement. She explored this by creating a persona of an emigre from a war-torn country. I've just circled that there because that semicolon should be a comma, which Cole's going to correct for me. Who's struggling to come to terms with the fact that her country is not how it used to be. Moving down a bit now. Rubens begins the poem by creating an opening which imitates the style of a fairy tale, potentially trying to convey a sense of innocence. Now, I've ticked that, ticked that potentially because it's that tentative language, that exploratory language, rather than stating things as fact, or projecting to the reader that the poem is written in a way that sounds like it's being told through memory. So there's some great ideas throughout there. In this first paragraph, I've put a tick here. Can anyone tell me what it was at this point of his response that earned him that tick? Okay, Cynthia, have a go for me. Fantastic. He has got that clear link to the question there. Can we all jot that down as a reminder in the opening paragraph? We need to be explicitly linking to the question, not just hinting at it, making that very direct link to the question and what the poem is about. So that's also exploring the main ideas of the poem. So I'll just give you a moment to do those reminders ready for when you do your own dirt work. Thank you, guys. Now, as ever, we did say it's good and it is good, but want to make it great. So the thing that Cole needs to work on, you'll see I've done some highlighting here, is around his word selection. Sometimes the words he's selecting are not the correct word for the sentence. So you'll notice he wrote aspect. I corrected that to concept and he wrote reflects. I uh, changed that to imitates. So as Cole moves forward today, he's going to be really interrogating his choice of words as he writes to make sure that his written expression is sophisticated as it should be. Okay, guys, we're now going to open our books and have a look at our own first paragraphs. So you could do that now. We're going to get ready to use what we've learned from Cole to apply it to our own work. There is also a models for excellence section on the Messy Mark book template. The Models of Excellence section is again a place where specific students' initials are included and notes on what the teacher wants to draw the class's attention to as they share the model under the visualiser. 
Again, this is very useful in supporting students to complete their own dirt work. They know what a model of excellence looks like and have heard the teacher discuss the metacognitive processes with that student and others in the class. This helps the student know why a piece of work is successful and in turn to know what improvements they need to make in their own work. These two sections really help the teacher in the DIRT lesson exemplify how the success criteria of a task has been met or how students can improve their work to meet them, helping students take further ownership of their own learning. I hope you found this episode useful. Please remember to sign up to our platform at DixonOS.com. See you soon.